Tommy Clark, I'm a vice president and commercial banker for Renaissance Bank. Over time, I got involved with the chamber in 2010 as a board member, and all I did was go to one board meeting a month, and then I got involved at the committee level. I became a treasurer, I ran the Small Business Resource Committee, so, you know, it just built up into taking on a more of a leadership role, and that's in my blood. I mean, I want to give back and serve and, and lead and leave uh, an organization better off than it was when I found it, you know, so hopefully I've done that. Well, bankers in general, and I mean, this is across the country, I think you'll find are some of the biggest community stewards, both in volunteer hours and manpower and also sponsorship dollars. I mean, banks get hit up all the time to be, to take that leadership role and be the first ones to step up to the plate. So, and it helps both sides. I mean, the community likes to see big businesses step up first and in the case of rural places like Albany that's banks but also it helps us I mean we get exposure you know name recognition name brand so it's a win-win. I'm Ed Newsom Jr. Uh, I'm the president and owner of Albany Air Conditioning. We were established in 1949 by my mother and daddy and uh, I arrived on the scene in 1977 after graduating from college. Being the incoming chair uh, you know I owe everything to Albany, Georgia, because I was born and raised here. And, and I feel like a big responsibility is to give back to the community uh, in, in whatever way you can. With our talent that we have located right here in Albany with the chamber and with our city and county governments, you know, working together, it's, it, it's a challenge, but it's also, a, it's also an exciting time to be part of Albany. We want to see a home run, and that's human nature, but it's really just move, it's three yards in a pile of dust. We move inch by inch by inch, and sometimes you don't feel that, but when you stop, take a minute, and look back, you know, you do see progress. So we've just got to keep working hard. We've seen increased participation in events and also in sponsorship dollars, so both of those numbers are way up. So if we can keep building on that, along with one more thing, we've... Uh, membership participation has has risen so when we have one voice and we come together and speak as one voice we can get so much more accomplished. I think the education is going to be a big uh, part of the chamber and a part of the local and state. Education is so important in our community because we want to make sure that we have the right people with the right skills. Hopefully with all of the Groundwork that's been set over the years with a lot of people that's taken a lot of pride in this community, that will continue. And uh, we'll see we'll see all many back on the map again. Well, first and foremost, I want to see the downtown revitalized. I mean, I think that's coming. We've seen some uh, positive news with the microbrewery coming downtown. So if you look back at, at uh, smaller rural communities, it's a thriving downtown, so that would be first and foremost, and you know, continuing this education trend, we've had positive news with the College and Career Academy and the Darty County School System is really working hard to turn things around. I like to see people that are, are, are really movers and shakers in our community and see how they operate. You learn a lot. Uh, I, I, I love to work with the city government, the county government, and see how they interact. Um, it's, uh, there's a lot of interesting things on the table when you, you know, you're looking, trying to revitalize downtown. People have asked me all the time, you know, what's next, and I bet you're glad it's over, but I have to do something. I'm just, I'm that way. I, I, I grew up in a, a model of servant leadership. Um, there are some great people that have influenced my life over the years, and, and that's giving back and leading to serve. Yeah, a lot of times, uh, Small businesses have a lot of, have a tough time getting their name out there in the chamber uh, by going to events, by doing things and being involved, they get their name out there. I mean, I do business with a lot of chamber people that five years ago, I didn't know they existed. And it's because of the, the working with the chamber and with, the, with them coming to events and you know them getting their name out there. One thing I want to say is congratulations to Ed Newsom. He has been a very good right hand for me this past year and I will continue to support him. And I just want to ask everybody, I mean, we owe it to ourselves, we owe it to our community. Get involved, help Ed, you know, get behind him, and let's make this Albany a great place to live and work. <laughs>